Short ring pencils can be kind of confusing. Uh, there's quite a few pencils in the line and they seem to be very similar. Uh, so aside from obvious color and material differences, what are the differences? Well, we'll be talking about my user experience of these pencils in this video, uh, starting with the uh, lowly uh, Tiki, their kind of consumable pencil, all the way up to their fancy 800 and the Rapid Pro. So I hope you enjoy the video. Well, all right, this looks a little bit better. Here is the lineup of Rote Ring mechanical pencils. Quick size comparison here. Here is a Parker Jotter. Uh, so you can see that these are pretty much normal size pencils. Uh, let's talk about the Rote Ring brand briefly. Uh, originally founded in 1928, it's a German brand originally. Uh, it's now owned by um, a conglomerate. It was sold in 1998. So some of the distinctive features of Rote Rings that you'll see especially in the nicer ones uh, or in the more, uh, I guess, classic uh, Rote Ring designs is uh, hexagonal uh, barrel or body, um, knurling in the grip area, and then we have um, a very precise a lead sleeve at the tip of the pencil so that uh, you can see what you are drawing or writing. Um, we have another feature in a number of these uh, pencils is a lead hardness indicator. So uh, over here, um, a lead hardness indicator just is important uh, for feeding lead if you are a draftsman. So, yeah, the, the Rote Ring line is uh, pretty interesting. There are real differences in these pencils. Uh, so let's start getting into it. First, we have the kind of um, consumable offering from the line. This is the Tiki. Um, it is triangular, not hexagonal, um, and um, does still feature um, Rote Ring's uh, pencils, which many of these have basically um, uh, sorry, they're erasers. These are erasers, not pencils. The pencil is the whole device. Uh, <laughs> the eraser has like a little sleeve here that um, allows a longer eraser to be held uh, on the end of the pencil um, and um, holds it firmly in place. And so that's nice because that's just manually adjustable. If you um, really want to work to pull that out, uh, that's where you uh, uh, can put in uh, lead as well um, uh, in all of these pencils as you feed them through the back. Um, and they all come with a little uh, eraser cap as well, which is nice. Uh, this one features a different um, clip than the other styles. It's a little smoother. Um, I like that all of the Rotorin clips are removable theoretically if they got sprung. So even though this is uh, feels like a disposable pencil, um, you can still get uh, precision in your writing. You can imagine, uh, you know, using a ruler or something and needing to see exactly uh, when to stop or where you're going. And so that is um, the Tiki. Uh, this is a seven dollar pencil. To me, this is kind of, um, I guess, if you wanted a rote ring and you wanted something more disposable, maybe you're a teacher and you want to get uh, a decent uh, pencil in your student's hands. Uh, it does have um, uh, metal internals uh, on the inside. This is brass, um, so that's pretty cool. Um, so it's not like uh, they cheaped out on the actual um, lead uh, advancement device, whatever that's called. Um, so uh, yeah, for seven bucks, uh, not a bad uh, mechanical pencil, I think, in its own right, but definitely not the most uh, memorable design compared to what we'll be looking at very shortly. Uh, here is the 300. 300 has an all plastic body, um, and uh, the knurling on it, uh, being plastic, doesn't have the same uh, precision or feel that the nicer ones do. Uh, this is the first pencil on the line that has a lead hardness indicator, which as I explained earlier is just uh, for the draftsman who's concerned about, um, I think, feeding their lead correctly um, or optimally. So please do let me know in the comments below if you're an architect or something and you have more to say about that. Um, here we have um, uh, a very nice um, metal tip, uh, so that is even sort of more precise. Um, and more visible, and, and uh, this is very much a classic uh, rope ring design feature. Uh, those kind of uh, kind of shape there, uh, really nice. Um, this one does not come apart, 
uh, does not unthread here. I'm not going to unthread or disassemble all these pencils because this video is already going to be long as it is. Um, but um, yeah, this might be uh, a pencil to try out to just see if you like the rot ring shape. Uh, it is $9 uh, currently on Amazon. And uh, by the way, uh, prices for these seem to fluctuate pretty significantly on Amazon. So uh, be advised that um, current prices will probably be different in a year from now if you're watching this you know, uh, later. So uh, right now, $9, $2 more than the Tiki. And yes, I would get the 300 over the Tiki. Uh, one thing that was kind of a bummer is I did lose the eraser cap for this. Um, it was also plastic. So, you know, maybe that's a, a failure of uh, lack of precision that you definitely get when you start getting into pens with uh, metal construction. Uh, which brings us to the 500. The 500 is sort of the entry into the line of pens that feature some metal construction. Uh, in particular, the uh, writing or the knurling part of the pencil is metal, uh, which is great. Uh, you can see that the knurling is finer. Um, you uh, also have, again, this nice tip. You can see that the clip here is metal and brass. The painting is coming off. Basically, um, Rote Ring metal pencils are, I believe they're all brass body, and then uh, some are painted and um, some are coated. And I'm uh, not going to get into those details, but you'll see what I mean. Um, here we have again a, a lead hardness indicator. This uh, knurling here is metal, um, and then you have a much harder top to get off than on the Tiki um, and your lead as well. So see, nice construction, nice uh, sturdy. This is not going anywhere. Uh, the, the 500 is one of my favorites here uh, because it is lightweight. Uh, it's about half the weight of uh, the 600, which comes in at about um, um, 0.8 ounces, um, which is really not that heavy. If you're used to carrying all metal pens, it's, it's totally fine. Uh, but if you want a like a, a pen that's going to feel about as easy to carry as a Bic or something, then the 500 is for you. Uh, and it does have all the pleasurable writing experience features of the um, higher end uh, rote rings. Uh, this one comes in at $14, which is a good value um, for the, I think, noticeable increase in quality. Um, the um, uh, clicky mechanism in this one is definitely got a nice feel to it. Not as um, good as this one though, the 600. The 600 is kind of the um, most popular uh, rote ring uh, and I think it's understandable because this is kind of the classic design. Um, there's a, uh, everything that is distinctive about a rote ring and nothing new in this one. A hexagonal body, knurling, again this precise tip, uh, lead hardness indicator. Um, this one happens to be, um, uh, I, I guess, uh, I always call it my head stainless steel. Of course it's not stainless steel, this is a brass body, but it's sort of a natural color uh, paint. And you can see that it does get scrapes on it over time. If that bothers you, then this is not for you. Uh, the patina is definitely wearing differently. You can see the paint, for example, slowly starting to wear off there. Uh, this one does thread apart. Um, the construction of all these pencils are different. Um, and explaining how the internals work would make this video really long, so I'm not going to get into that. Um, but uh, the 600 is kind of the go-to. If you want the classic rot ring, um, uh, this is the pencil to get uh, for that full experience. Um, you get uh, kind of uh, thoughtful industrial design from tip to butt, <laughs> channeling my little grand thumb uh, mojo there. Uh, so uh, basically everything in this um, uh, pencil has been really practical, really useful, and really enjoyable to use, and I carry this one the most. Um, it's also, uh, I think, pretty reasonable uh, coming in under 30 bucks, currently uh, $25 for this um, natural color, I guess it's called silver or something, um, on Amazon. It's really pleasing to use over the years um, and uh, has worn well uh, and definitely hasn't had any mechanical problems to speak of whatsoever. 
Um, that being said, if you uh, get a 600 and you really like it, you'll probably be confused about the uh, next one uh, on the line. Uh, their flagship uh, is the 800, and you can see that it has a completely retractable tip. So that's pretty cool. Beautiful polished brass. Uh, really nice, especially when it initially presented. And this has got a really nice, rich, I'm going to try to capture this as hard with the light, but got a nice kind of textured, slightly textured black paint. I have a feeling this is the sort of thing that collectors geek over is the like slight texture in the paint. Um, nice uh, red lettering here, of course, and then brass and the red ring, which of course, uh, rote ring is red ring in German. Um, uh, up here at the eraser. You lose the lead hardness grade indicator with uh, the 800. Uh, and in exchange for that, you get no poke, no poke good. Uh, yeah, so yeah, that's probably the biggest negative of the 600 or uh, any of the other kind of uh, sub 600 classic rote ring styles is that uh, this precise tip uh, is annoying. Uh, to put into a jacket pocket, or, or especially pants pocket, if you're not careful. Uh, yeah, so uh, this completely eliminates that uh, and does it in an elegant way. Uh, the only thing that makes me a little nervous is this is, a, uh, I think, some kind of spring mechanism here. I wonder how that's gonna hold up over time. It has really positive uh, click, twist and click. Uh, it feels good. Uh, the mechanical pencil itself uh, can deploy when the tip is shrouded, uh, so you bring it out and then you can click. Uh, this does not have as precise of a clicky feel as the 600 does. Uh, the 600 definitely is kind of more smooth and direct. And so um, uh, getting into these pencils is something about the aesthetic experience, right? And so you're trading off maybe a little bit of precision um, in uh, clicking uh, for not poking yourself. Uh, I really like the 800 too. I think this is really high quality um, and I think it's uh, definitely uh, an improvement to the, probably the, the most obvious criticism of these type of pencils. Um, and uh, you can get this one for about 30 bucks. It's, I think it's 32 right now on Amazon. And um, yeah, really nice. There also is an 800 plus, it has a stylus on it. Um, so again, if you know, you're know you an architect or an engineer and you're actually working on tablets and stuff, or if you're an artist, then it might be helpful to get the 800 plus instead. Uh, but for me, uh, I'm just using all these to take notes in books. I do not need the stylus at all. Uh, finally, this brings us to the Rapid Pro. Uh, the Rapid Pro is an, a modern interpretation, uh, sort of a cleaning up maybe, as it were, of the classic 600. Um, first of all, uh, you'll notice that it also has a tip that can be retractable. However, it's just the very end of the tip. I don't know if there's some pencil nerd out there who can tell me what this very end of the tip is that is retractable. That is what the Rapid Pro retracts. And it does it with the same mechanism that also pushes a lead out. And so there's no locking of the um, mechanism the way there is with the 800. So it's very simple. Um, no lead indicator. Uh, lead hardness indicator and the knurling as well as the hexagonal shaping is kind of rounded as you can tell it's a slight but real difference um, in the hand um, it just doesn't have the same um, uh, sharpness of the edges um, construction though is beautiful uh, really nice construction um, uh, you can see the brass on the knurling is starting to wear through on this uh, pencil. I've had this one for a couple years too. I think I initially bought the 600 and the Rapid Pro and um, have purchased the other pencils uh, over the last year. Uh, by the way, all these pencils were just purchased uh, with my own money. Um, and uh, yeah, there you go. You see some more nice patina up here with uh, this uh, brass wearing through. I definitely think the patina on the black ones looks a little better than on the uh, metal ones. Uh, metal painted ones and whatever silver color that those ones um, nice again you know textured paint uh, textured branding uh, subtle integration of the red ring um, yeah so this is the top end as far as price goes presently on Amazon this is 35 bucks um, what ones would I pick if I had to only pick one yeah it would be the 600 it would 
Um, if I um, had to rank them in my favorites, so I would say 600, um, then probably the Rapid Pro, um, although it's pretty close with the 800. The 800, I just, I guess I don't trust it as much as the Rapid Pro at this point. That might just be a user experience thing, but also this device, although it's very pleasant, I just feel like once it breaks, this pencil is going to be useless. Um, and then the 500, the 300, although these three, honestly, I don't, I don't think it's worth your time. I think it's worth it just to pony up, get one of the all metal, all brass barrel rot rings and um, experience them for yourself because uh, it is um, a beautifully designed, proven design. Um, and um, yeah, I've really enjoyed it. Guys, this video is kind of a labor of love for me because um, you know no sponsorship, no sponsorships or anything in this video. Um, so your likes and your um, comments really do help uh, uh, help me with this video. Um, I have enjoyed these pencils for a while. Uh, they really um, were a tool of the trade for me in graduate school, and uh, and I hope that. Uh, as you explore mechanical pencils that you give them a look. They were well worth it for me a few years ago when I uh, first uh, picked up this uh, 600. Um, and it's also been worth it to explore the brand, really. I mean, in the world of uh, watch collecting, you know, a price range between $7 and $35 is not cost prohibitive for anyone. And so it is kind of interesting to try every flavor and, and try some different colors and stuff and figure out what works. Um, and uh, let me know which ones you like down below. Are they all the same to you once we've gone through the details? Um, what do you think of Rote Rings in general? I'd love to hear your thoughts about it. Um, and uh, yeah, thanks for checking out this uh, kind of overview slash uh, brief micro review of these, of these pencils. Uh, really an interesting brand. I've really enjoyed these personally, and I thought I would bring that personal enjoyment to you today. Uh, so take care, guys. Uh, really enjoyed uh, showing you these, and I will see you in the next video.